the exhibition came about through the creation of the work by Zoe Leonard and she began photographing this area of the United States and Mexico uh, in late 2016 and in earnest in 2017 and throughout that year her concept for this new work uh, developed and originally it was part of a project with the Kunsthaus Bregenz in Austria and because of the time it took for the artist to actually complete the, the shooting of the, all of her photography, the, uh, the work was delayed in its making. And we had become partners with the Kunsthaus Bregenz and in the end Mudam became the lead institution and so I'm delighted that Mudam can be showing the world premiere in fact of El Rio to the River. The, the dual title of the exhibition, El Rio to the River, is really an indication of how we might begin to understand what this work is about and the themes that are explored through the photography of Zoe Leonard. Um, of course, it's about a river and it's about its course through space, through geographies, through time. It's also about borders. It's about uh, the crossing of those borders, it's about the control of those borders, but it's also about ecology, it's about prehistory, it's about past history, it's about colonial history, it's about present history, and it's about humanity. It was a great challenge to think through with the artist how we might present a work that actually consists of over 400 black and white photographs 40 color C prints and some 20 uh, digital prints taken with a cell phone. So there are three different types of photographic media that are actually contained within the work, but the body of the work are these silver gelatin black and white prints, which are something of a signature of um, the artist, of Zoe Leonard, uh, and the way she frames them or not frames them um, and presents them in space. We've produced uh, with Hydra Cans as partners a very, very uh, impressive publication which was conceived by Zoe Leonard and the poet and editor Tim Johnson. Tim uh, runs a bookstore in Marfa and he was a collaborator of Zoe's in the shooting of the photography and in her journey along the Rio Grande. Um, the book uh, is composed of two volumes. One volume is purely of images, so people will be able to follow the, the work as book by turning the pages. It's quite a different experience to experiencing the work in space, but it's another iteration of the work in many ways. And uh, a text volume, and this text volume is extremely important. It contains over 20 contributions consists of essays, of texts, of conversations uh, by authors from the United States and from Mexico talking about different aspects of the river from its geological beginnings uh, to its colonial history to uh, the journalistic realities of uh, living in that part of the world um, to uh, questions of cartography, landmass, rock painting and um, so the book creates a, a beautiful and I think multifaceted framework in which the viewer might appreciate the photographs and the work El Rio.